Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lydia. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today we are talking about my must-have apps for my Disney World vacations. So let's get on our ears and start chatting about all of the apps that I use to have the best trip possible. Okay, so just a tiny disclaimer. I do have my computer right here um, kind of showing me the list of apps that you know, I don't want to forget anything. And then I will be using my phone. Um, I'm going to mirror my screen, um, screen record, whatever you want to call it. So you guys can see exactly what I'm showing you as I'm talking about it. So I'm going to separate it into two different categories. Um, apps that I use for planning and then apps that I use while I'm on Disney property in the parks. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. First, we are going to start with the apps that I plan Disney vacations with. Because I am a Disney travel agent, um, I use these apps a little more often than most would since I'm planning vacations constantly for myself and others. Um, and one app that I have found very useful is the Stakeout app. So this app is very useful for when you're trying to get a dining reservation and it is just hard to get. Your dining day has come and gone and you didn't get your Cinderella Royal Table or your Space 220 or whatever the case may be. Um, this app is fantastic in helping you book those hard to get dining reservations. I have booked um, three different Cinderella Royal Table um, reservations with this app for different clients. Um, one was a party of nine, which is very difficult to get into. I also was able to snag a fireworks viewing um, reservation um, for Rosen Crown at Epcot for some clients. Those reservations went um, very, very quickly and did not reopen until I think it was the day that they arrived. And so I was able to snag that because of this app. So I'm just going to go in and um, show you how to use this app. So it is called the Stakeout app. You do have to pay um, a subscription fee, I believe, to do multiple different stakeouts. I don't remember at this point. Um, so I know for myself, it was worth it to go ahead and pay for it. So you, it gives you the option to do Disney World or Disneyland. Um, you can have it set up to do restaurants, experiences. So let's say I want to go to 1900 Park Fair. Um, let's pick a party size of two. Let's do a date. Um, let's see. Let's just pick May 3rd. Um, and you can choose your time. You can do breakfast, dinner. You can add multiple dates right here if you wanted to. You can do 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Um, normally, if it is like a we must eat here, we don't care what time, um, I will choose um, all the times available. Um, some clients did not care. I had some clients that specifically wanted Cinderella, Cinderella Royal Table at breakfast. Um, and so I chose every option available. And then you just create your stakeout. And it will give you the notification that it was created successfully. Um, I'm really struggling today with the words. I've already done a video um, before this one. And so I'm a little talked out. So please forgive me. Um, so then you will get your alerts right here. Um if an option does become available. So I do have the premium, so I'm able to do multiple for multiple different guests. Um, so that is the Stakeout app. I do love it. Um, I hate that you have to pay for something like that. Um, I don't know how useful it will be since, um, or how much I'll need to use it since they have changed the way that um, the dining windows are done. So, um, unless it's like a specific date that you want, I think this would be very useful. Um, but if you don't really care if it's on a specific day that you go to a specific restaurant and you just want it within your vacation week, um, Disney has made that a lot easier to do. So my next app is TikTok. Um, I just want to go ahead and say that I love TikTok for everyday things. So once I book a trip, I start saving videos, whether it is Disney specific. Um, I love to save like hair tutorials and outfit ideas, um, whether it's they're trying things on in the Disney parks or wearing something in the Disney parks or whatever. Um, I love to save hair tutorials and photo ideas and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so I just have a little collection tab that is called Disney that I save anything and everything. And um, I think right now I have um, 
some hair ideas, some pose ideas, pictures ideas. I'm trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I wrote down. Just all things Disney, non-Disney that could be used in Disney. I love to save it there on TikTok. Everybody has so many creative ideas. Um, and so I love to be able to pull from that and um, change things up and take pieces here and there from different people um, to make it my own, make it my own ideas whatever. So I love TikTok um, when I am planning a Disney vacation. Okay, so the next app that I use in the planning process of Disney is just your regular old notes app on your iPhone. Um, I don't know if I'm sure Android has a notes app as well, um, but my notes app is my go-to. I'm going to show you uh, my notes app from last year, um, my March trip last year. I just have a note started that just has everything video ideas picture ideas souvenir ideas um all kinds of things we normally do groceries so i have that um the week before i start planning stuff and i have every day mapped out and then i have a little bit of like a bucket list just food i want to try uh, pictures i want to take in specific parks all kinds of stuff so i really really love um using a notes app i put all of my thoughts all of my ideas in a notes app and it's just if i think of anything that i want for um my trip that i'm going on i will throw it in there if i need to buy something i will throw it in there my notes app is my go-to i joked yesterday this is probably sacrilegious but i called it my disney bible which is terrible but um it really is it just has everything all all kinds of information to use um if I have any kind of like content ideas, I'm wanting to get into some short form content, um, I will put that in for a future trip. Just this is if when I go back to Disney, this is exactly what I want to do. Um, I'm very detailed because once an idea is gone, if you don't write it down very detailed, it's gone. So that my notes app is probably if I could pick one app for planning Disney other than my the my disney experience app um but if i could pick one app it would 100 percent be my notes app i just want to go ahead and add in that instagram is another thing that i use in my like planning process for disney um it is pretty similar to tiktok um in my eyes i use it to get ideas um i find a lot of like disney clothing like small shops that is where i get a lot of my disney merch from um like my t-shirts to prepare for my Disney trip. So I use Instagram and TikTok interchangeably um, to get picture ideas, all kinds of stuff like that. But um, social media is your friend, I feel like, when you're about to go to Disney World. I love to get on YouTube and watch uh, my favorite vloggers going to Disney World, all that kind of stuff. I love to watch pa packing and prepping videos um, to get some ideas on what am I going to forget? What do I need to pack? All that kind of stuff. I love social media for that. So now we are going into the apps that I use in the parks. Um, these are the apps that I use in rotation throughout my entire um, Disney World vacations. So I want to start off strong with um, an app that I just recently found last year. It is called Photo Circle. So I think this is a great app for bigger groups. We use this um, for our girls trip and it is just an app where you throw all of your pictures in um you don't have to worry about asking hey can you send me that picture um it is a lot quicker than waiting to get a text message full of pictures you just upload it and it is almost instantly it is uploaded and you can download it is so much fun i love it i love to go back and look through all of our pictures from previous trips i think it is just the perfect app to use when you are going on um, a vacation especially with a bigger group it was perfect for our girls trip um we just threw i mean as you can see just thousand a thousand i think pictures um on here I just love it. I just love to go back. We go back all the time and look through these pictures. Um, my best friend and I went back and looked through it over the weekend. Our friend Morgan is the one that introduced it to us. Um, and so we just love it. I think that it is the perfect app 
to use, especially when it comes to photos for um, your Walt Disney World vacation. The next must have Disney app is the My Disney Experience app. Um, of course, I feel like that kind of speaks for itself. If you are planning a Disney World vacation, if you have a Disney vacation booked, you know that the My Disney Experience app is like your go-to. Um, if you don't know, it is the app that holds your tickets, your dining reservations, it has your room information, you can get your um, photo pass pictures there, your Genie Plus selections are made there. It is just like, it is the most important app if you are going on a Disney World vacation, in my opinion. Um, if you are going through a travel agent, they will they will have that set up for you, fixed up. Um, if you are planning and booking your trip by yourself and you don't have the My Disney Experience app, you don't know what I'm talking about, I definitely recommend um, downloading it, getting yourself familiarized with it. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to help you out. If you are a little bit confused, you don't know what it is, but it is like the most important app to have when you're in the Disney parks. You can find wait times there. I love to mobile order, um, and that's where you do that. So um, the My Disney Experience app is such an important app. They also have a cute little countdown for when you do have your book, your trip booked. Um, you can go and look at your room reservation, and it will show you your countdown. Um, when I have a trip, I, I I check the countdown app every single day. I check it, I check it, I check it multiple times a day um, just in hopes that a day has gone by and I didn't realize it, but um, I love the My Disney Experience app. They continue to, um, I think, tweak with it and make it better, um, and it is a lot better than it used to be when it first came out. The next app that I would recommend, I do not normally have to use this because my husband and I drive down to Disney World so we have our own car, but if you are flying, I think that the Uber or Lyft app is a really good idea to have downloaded and um, to have yourself familiar with because there is... You never know what is going to happen if you have a late park day and then you go to a late dining reservation and the buses stop running. You need a way to get back to your room. So it is a really good idea to be familiar with the Uber and Lyft app, to have that already downloaded on your phone. If you go through Lyft, you can do the minivans. Um, those are the Disney minivans. They are red and polka white, polka dotted, very, very cute, very Disney. Um, I have red you know, and seen some other influencers, they say it is really great. If you have kids, um, it is just a, a, it puts you more at ease to book um, a minivan. So I do not have experience with that. We have Ubered a couple of times um, from different areas in the park. Um, I think one time when we flew, but that was it. Um, so we really don't have to keep that on our phone, but I do think it is a really good app to use when um, you go to Disney World. The next app that I use um, in Disney World or for Disney World is the Lightroom app. And this is just a picture editing app. Um, I'm just going to show you what I do. I have a bunch of presets and I go in and I just pick out the presets that I feel like fit best with my picture. Um, see that one doesn't that doesn't fit very well for me. Um, that one's a little too dull. I think that is really cute. So I'm just going to save that and save that copy to my device. Um, I love to edit my videos, not my videos. I love to edit my pictures on Lightroom. Um, and if I decide to do like a story dump or something like that, um, I like for them to all look cohesive. And so I, even in just everyday life, I love to use Lightroom, but for Disney World especially, um, I love to edit my pictures with that app. So the next app that I like to use when I'm in the parks is the Play Disney app. It is an app that Disney has put out that is interactive with whatever park you're in. Um, so as you can see right now, it is called At Home Fun. It's under that little category. Um, you can do trivia while you're at home. All kinds of fun stuff. When you, um, let's just click Magic Kingdom. Um, there's some trivia for the Magic Kingdom. You can do um, the Fab Five quest with your Magic Band Plus. Um, games for like two to five players. Very, very fun. Um, you can collect stickers. I don't remember exactly how. Whenever you get on rides, um, you sign in with your Disney account. Once you sign in with that, you get achievements. Um, and so if you ride, when you ride a ride, it will give you a an achievement or a... Um, 
an award, a button, a pin. I don't remember the exact verbiage for that, but um, it is really fun to have downloaded on your phone and you're self-familiarized with when you go during a busy season. Um, the time of year my husband and I go is very hit or miss. Sometimes it is not busy. Other times it is very busy. Um, and so I like to have this app on my phone and ready to go for when we go to Disney. Um, just in case we do end up in a long line or something like that. It's just a really fun app to have. The last and certainly not the least app is Standby Skipper. I will look over at my laptop um, to give you the details once we get into it, but this app is a um, non-Disney licensed app. It is um, something you can use in tandem with Genie Plus. Um, the Standby Skipper app is um, a paid service. You can pay for it or you can use it free. Let me read... Um, so there are a few different price tiers there is the free it's called the try before you buy and i think it it will let you choose between two or three different um rides to try it out test it out and see if it's going to work for you and your family um and it only searches just a very limited number of attractions um the next tier option is the 25 dollars option it is the day pass um and it is unlimited, like whatever Genie Plus offers attraction wise, it will book it for you um, for one day for up to 12 people. The next and final option, the tier is um, the $45 option and that is for seven days. I have used this option two times. It is the same as the one day, just seven days. So unlimited attractions um, for up to 12 people. Genie Plus is difficult um, and it is expensive and in my opinion and in my experience um, having Standby Skipper it books the earliest time available for whatever ride you're wanting to ride or whatever ride you put in there that you want it to get for you. Um, as soon as you get off that ride or scan into that ride it is booking you another lightning lane. Um, we were able during spring break to ride every single ride available because of standby skipper last year. Um, and so while it is an extra added expense, it is just so worth it. Um, I'm going to see if it will let me get in to a standby skipper. Give me just a second. So you have to accept them as your friend in my Disney experience. Um, let me get logged in. So, um, yes, you will go in and it will have a pending invite from Standing Skipper to be your friend in My Disney Experience. You will accept that and then um, click out of that. Um, and let's see what happens next. <laughs> so, once you get logged into Standby Skipper um, and you do all of those steps to make Standby Skipper your friend, this is the screen you will see. This is the list of parks and attractions um, that genie plus is offered for so you can click into whatever ride you're wanting a um lightning lane for and it will give you an option for um i think it's morning afternoon or just whenever you will click that and it will get to work for you i cannot do that because i one do not have my friends and family invited yet and two I do not have Genie Plus today. So um, that is the extent of what I can show you. But this app has been proved time and time again for our family to be worth the extra cost um, to make Genie Plus, um, to make sure that we use it to the best of its ability, um, if that makes any sense. So those are my apps that um, are a staple for me in Disney World for my planning and then in the parks. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to answer them. If you have an app that I missed, let me know down below. I am always wanting to add something to make um, my Disney experience better. So um, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.